So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab data flow quick start templates so first of all click on start lab and open cloud console in incognito window in my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need username and password you can refer to the lab instructions so let's start now from here we need to enable the api first we need to disable it and then enable copy the name from lab instructions now head over to the api and services and then click on library wait for the library to open here enter the name of the api which we just copy that is data flow api so now enter here now select the first one that is data flow api click on it now click on manage and now click on disable api and then wait click on disable now the disabled api we need to enable it later on so wait for some time now it's asking for enabling it so click on enable now the api will be enabled and now we will move forward to the next task cloud shell now hit check my progress for task number one now for task number two enter this for creating the data set so it will create the data set now hit check my progress for the task now we will move forward to the another task as you can see we got the score now we will initiate the data set so it will it has been completed now we'll move forward to the another task table has been created so hit check my progress for the table now we need to create bucket for that export the bucket command now bucket name has been exported now we will be creating the bucket so this one creates the bucket make sure to note it down now for the next command we have to check as you can see the data set has been already created so we will get a score without any issue and the string is also updated so let's see we are able to edit the string or not see click on done now here close the cloud shell here we will try to check it so first of all you need to click on taxi rides click on your project id then select taxi rides then select real time and we will edit the table width click on schema and scroll down a bit and zoom out in case you are unable to see as you can see it's showing edit schema then scroll down and click on edit as text so i am providing step by step guide because in my case it got the score but in your case it might face issue so you can do it like this so as i got the my I mean check my progress that means that task has been done so in case you face issue you can follow the steps as i did so we will be running data flow pipeline so for this 
click on cancel close and here we will be running the command that is last one which you saw from the lab instruction that is create a data flow pipeline so it will take some time so kindly wait for it meanwhile you can search data flow and click on refresh and wait for this pipeline to complete So as you can see after waiting for two minutes we got the score you may need more time so wait